Hi everybody, it's Miss Nancy. I miss you so much and I love you so much. Mwah! And I can't wait to be with you again. But for now, I've got a story for you. And um, it's in English and in Spanish. I'm gonna read the English part for you and you can read the Spanish at home later if you'd like with the volume down If and, um, and we'll have more fun soon. Uh, enjoy. Let's see here. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint and they climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. Do, 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 do. Can you do a little dance? His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, until, look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed. Do your little dance. Wee! Until... Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make... What color? Green! Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced. Show me your dancing. Until... Purple! They all shouted. Right here, here's the purple. Blue feet in a red puddle make... What color? Purple! But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice, soft white. Uh-oh, does anyone know what this is? Hmm, I don't think that's a bathtub. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow. Paint, 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 paint. Can you show me how you paint, 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 paint? One part blue, paint, 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 paint with that blue. And they mix the red and yellow to paint an orange part. Paint, 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 paint. Yellow and blue to paint a green part. Paint, 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 paint. And blue and red to paint a purple part. Paint, 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 paint. But they left some white because of the cat. Shh, they don't want the cat to know he's there. The end. It was so fun reading with you. Now hold on a second and I've got a fun project to do now, okay? So after all of that reading about painting, um, what else were you gonna do but paint, right? So I gathered a few supplies. First, I have some flour. And I have some water. And I have some food coloring. I got this food coloring at the Dollar Tree. So it's only a buck. Oh, and then also some paper. Scrap paper. It doesn't matter. With babies, it really doesn't matter the final product. It's about the experience. So just use whatever you have. It doesn't have to be perfect paper. Oh, I also grabbed some um, plastic... Ziploc bags. Ziploc is the key. 
Um, I like to reuse my Ziploc bags as much as possible. So uh, if you use it for something like a sandwich or bag of chips or whatever, uh, wash it out, save it. And it's great for projects or for storing things for later and it helps the environment a little bit too. So um, I was just gonna take like two tablespoons and they were heaping of flour. One and two. And then I'm going to put in some about it says equal parts water. This is how we're gonna make our paint. So I can't do heaping tablespoon with water, so I'll probably do about four. One. And two. I don't want to get water in my computer. <laughs> Let's try three for now. Three. Okay. So let me get out the bubbles, seal it up, squish it up. Mmm. Squishy, squishy, squishy. And it looks pretty thick. So I think I'm going to put four. So I'd say two huge heaping tablespoons of flour or four exact. It's equal parts, so four exact or so. Okay, that's better. Now, the colors. Now these aren't um, water, uh, waterproof. No, that's not the word. Uh, washable. These aren't washable. So um, as with everything we do with toddlers, don't expect them to look perfect and pristine. They're going to get messy. And same thing goes with this. So um, just be careful. Uh, Miss Lenny always puts in soap with our stuff. Um, I think it helps, but it still could die a little bit. So just FYI. If you have your own washable paint, go for it. Use that instead. This is just how you can make your own paint if you don't have it. Um, and here I'm going to just put in like one, two, three. And now you can look at the colors. Make sure it's sealed really, really well. Here, all those snaps. Let's see here. Ooh, I see some red. I'm going to squish, squish, squish. Ooh, look at that. Squish, squish, squish. Ooh, look at all those colors. Squish, squish, squish. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. mix. You can rub. You can poke it. You can squeeze it. You can do all kinds of fun things to mix that up. I got some red. Hmm. I think I need a little bit more red to it. Would you like it darker? I think I want it a little bit darker too. So I'm going to add a little bit more. One, two, okay. Hopefully it's not too much. And seal it up really good. And squish, 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 squish. Squish, 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 squish. You can get all the little pockets. You can squeeze and pinch. Pinching is good because you get those two fingers isolated. Rubbing is nice because you're putting your hands together. It's a good bilateral move. Um, you can, let's see here, we pull apart like this. Whoa! That's kind of fun. All kinds of great things while you mix. We are learning while playing. Okay. Oh, I got this little corner that's not quite mixed in there, but it's good enough. Anyway, I've got some red paint. So, here's your choice. You can stick with this and paint in a bag. And let me show you how you can do that. Um, okay, so here's how you can paint in a bag. You can just Use your finger and push down, and then you can see the line. Totally mess free. And you can still see, you can work on your vertical and horizontal lines. You can work on your circles. You can work on all kinds of skills like that. Um, I'm trying to show you how it looks like on the table here. 
There we go. I guess that will do. Um, let's see here. So you can smooth it out. You've got this lovely canvas of, of, of coloring, and it's mess-free. Or you can get messy, which I'm all for. And so you can choose a paintbrush of some sort. I actually have a real paintbrush. I also have an old toothbrush. I had to convince my daughter to give up, even though she has like five old toothbrushes lying around. Crazy kids. I have a Q-tip. I have a cotton ball. And I also have um, this uh, rag, like a washcloth. Anything can work as a paintbrush. It really doesn't matter. Even your finger is a great paintbrush too. And so I gotta clear my paper. All right, and let's get painting. So I'm gonna open my bag and I think I'll do the toothbrush. It's fun texture. I can go dip, 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 and then put on the paper. Dip, dip, dip. Ooh, I like how a nice broad stroke. Reminds me of a rainbow, baby. Something like that. Hmm. I'll do a little heart. Eh, nah. I need to dip, dip, dip more, huh? So this is what you do. And you can um, also mix colors. I have two other bags here ready to go. And we can mix more colors if we wanted to. And create. And um, I also we could mix colors within the bag too, which is fun. So um, I'm gonna show you that. Let's see here. I'm going to make, I guess, orange. Let's see here. So I've got some yellow, because we saw in the book that yellow and red make orange. So in this, you know what? Yellow is so funny with the dye, it comes out red initially, but then it looks yellow. So. Don't get confused, guys. It's still yellow. So I'm going to go drop, 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 drop. And we're going to mix and dance and mix and dance just like the mice did. Let's see here with my fingers, though. I got to snap it really good. Hear that? I'm going to snap it all the way. And then, ooh, see, now it's yellow. Ooh, and then my fingers are going to mix and dance and mix and dance. And there we go. We're playing with colors. Mess free again. The best part sometimes. But it is also really good for your senses to get messy and to feel those crazy textures, even if they are kind of gross and scary. It is good to get those messy. And if you parents are scared about getting messy at home, since we can't do it for you at school anymore, I suggest putting them in the bathtub in their diaper and letting them go crazy in there. And then you can hose them down afterwards or sponge bath them or whatever you need to do afterwards. Or um, do it in their high chair. That way at least they're not going to move around too much and it's in a controlled spot. Or do it outside. Uh, so many ways you can get messy without getting your entire house messy. So um, enjoy your painting time with whatever tool you want to use. Enjoy your mess free painting time and your color mixing and um and enjoy the book. I hope you read it again soon. Love you and I'll talk see you soon. Bye.